what is going on guys now if you're not already using the valve 46 and modern warfare 2 i promise you you will be after you're done watching today's video they actually buffed this thing what they did was increase the close damage ranges and they also improved the handling and mobility on the 30 round magazine now this was already one of the top smgs but with these buffs it's making it very very close to number one now if you still don't believe me i got two fire gameplays that are not only going to show you the play style and how you're going to want to use this thing when you throw it on but man the action did not stop enemies genuinely stood zero chance against your boy with the Val. Now, before we get to anything else, make sure you guys are subscribed with all those notifications on so you don't miss out on future best class setups and crazy gameplays just like you're gonna watch today, alongside with some ranked play, challenges, tips and tricks, so much more, man. And then do me a solid by clicking that thumbs up button. It takes seconds of your guys' time and it would really help push the video out and give us more exposure without further ado. I'm telling you, man, the Val 46, it's, it's the next big thing if it's not already. Stupid hoe. All right, that was, that was a rough way to open up the vid. All right. Today, uh, we got ourselves the Val 46. Uh, this thing received a, what was it? A close damage range buff. So now I guess it's a little bit more effective at close range. Close, am I, summon at it. The weapon's bad. Where is that from? Actually, show me. Had no clue. But yeah, this thing's basically just a little stronger at some ranges, which I'm, I'm all for. I, I thought the Vel was very good as is. I, I, I guess it's even better now. Uh, people were making fun of my camo yesterday, or the other day, saying I got the cheese camo. You know, now that you guys say it like that, it's the camo's not as cool when you call it the cheese camo. I, like, that's just the honest truth. It was kind of cooler when it was just... Damn. I ain't gonna lie, this thing got some range to it for absolutely no reason. Wow. I mean, I'll take it though. But I made a top, uh, wait, is my top five up? Yeah, my top five's up right now. I made a top five on uh, on the weapons that kind of got buffed and weapons that you just should just be using now in, in this game and Wait, uh, can I get out of here? Oh, nah, no, 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 get me out. I, I don't like that area anymore. I'm gone. And I did include the Val, but I did change one attachment on my previous setup I had on it. I uh, decided to take off the stock, the the one that kind of just made your weapon cracked out with that accuracy. It's, it's the last stock. And as much as I loved it, I just felt that the one I have on now, which I'll show you later on, is is maybe a little bit better. Because I'm keeping the accuracy that my Vel 46 has, but I'm also getting the ADS speed that I so desired. It's still pretty good with the movement. Like, it has everything I'm looking for, actually. But, wait, we are on one right now with this. The range is... The range with this is insane. Like, this is wild. Is he in the corner? He left the game. I, dude, I ain't gonna lie, if I didn't look bottom left to see if he left the game, I would have been sitting there for a long time like an idiot being like, wait, is he, is he there? Like, where'd he go? Holy cow, but did you see the accuracy on this? The Val has leveled up for sure. It's definitely leveled up on my, my list of weapons to use. Look at how accurate this is. The ADS, I mean, it has everything you need. It's killing fast, like, Yes, this is what we needed. Oh, he's up here. Shoot. Okay, let me lock in real quick. All right. I'm just going to get out of here. Screw it. You could have it, dude. That's what you so desire. Let me know where you guys would rank the, the Vel 46 compared to other weapons in this game. I honestly, I mean, this for now, right now, I think this is top three. There's my, I just got my nuke too, as I say that. I think this is top three. I, the Fennec's cool, but ever since they nerfed it, it, it hasn't been a weapon I, I just like have a desire to use all the time. But this, I feel like I just made a vid on it not too long ago. 
They buffed it, so here I am using it again. Like, it's just consistently using the weapon because I actually want to, and it's fun. It's it's good. Like, they're making this... They're getting really close to making this the, the meta SMG of just COD in general because I heard it's pretty solid in Warzone as well. So, hey, I'll take it. W, man. I'm all for it. An OG weapon like the MP7 deserves it. Yeah, you're weird. These guys are all in the back. I have yet to die. I'm 39 and 0, actually. That's such a good spot. I don't know. I've been, I've been running into people sitting in that spot a lot recently. If I didn't know about it, I would have been gone for. But now that we're... I mean, season two and a half is now kind of... It's been, I mean, it's been here for kind of a minute now. But now that we're here, fully in effect, how are we feeling about Modern Warfare 2? I mean, we already had season one. Season one reloaded. Here we are, season two, season two reloaded. We've had like four pretty big solid updates. How are you guys feeling about Modern Warfare 2? Uh, has your enjoyment increased ever since the game dropped? What updates are you happy came? And what, which updates are you looking for that need to come into the game immediately? Just for me, I like the little quality of life updates are my personal favorite every time. Things that make the game play a little differently. I, I wouldn't necessarily say this makes the game play differently. But the fact that you can call in your streaks quicker. I, this one right there. I know I got aim assist. Calling your streaks in quicker definitely changes things. I'm able to rush a lot more heavy and be fine because before I would have to like actually just sit back for a sec, call in my streak, then get back into action. Uh, the the flashbang change, where now my screen goes black instead of white. I mean, do you know how many times, like, I honestly just feel more confident when my screen goes black. Because when it goes white, I I, I get this feeling where it's like, damn, dude, I, I'm not going to survive this. I'm a lot more calm when my screen goes black, so I'm able to survive a little bit longer. Dude, that sounds so insane, but it, it's actually so true. But those two little changes, like, made the game so much better for me. The constant uh, weapon changes that we've been having. I think so far, Model for 2 has been a, a fat W compared to Vanguard already, especially with the weapon tuning. Believe it or not, we've already received more weapon tuning in this game than we ever did in in Modern Warfare 2. And that's so sad to say because the weapon tuning is pretty minimal. I mean, we've had like little changes like this mid-range or sorry, close damage range. He actually heard my bullets. I didn't mean to. I actually didn't even mean to shoot too. My... my I think I just press the trigger. Little those little quality of life updates that I mentioned. I I honestly don't remember seeing those in. Is there a guy there? Yeah, I knew I saw something. I never remember seeing those quality of life updates in in Vanguard. They didn't do nothing. Maybe they added some game modes here and there, but I mean in this game we're getting like three new modes of an update. We got drop zone, one in a chamber, all or nothing. We got ten v ten. Uh, I, I'm, I'm missing something. Oh, we got gun game. The maps. We got dome now. Shoot house and shipment are kind of givens. I'm not really interested in this. And then this map, man. They're doing good. Like, I think it's... I honestly think it's worth noting and giving props where they're due to uh, Infinity Ward. I, I'm not a big fan of Infinity Ward. I, I honestly prefer Treyarch over Infinity Ward in every single way possible. But I, you know, they're doing better than Vanguard did. And last year in Vanguard was a, a rough one, man. I, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> this YouTube thing for your boy was looking more like a, more like a hobby than a job at the time. It was honestly very, very rough. This is the, this is the kid's dream, man. To make videos. Sometimes, even if the updates aren't all that insanely crazy. Just to be able to get on and record content, something new to showcase to you guys, that is my that is my favorite thing ever. That's what makes me love updates so much. Like that's what make, gets me so excited is knowing that there's something new in the game that I could ma make a video on and showcase to you guys. It, it amazing, amazing to say the least. I love doing that. My favorite thing about making content is doing that. And that's actually worth mentioning since we had uh, the mid-season 2 update because showcasing the new map, the new weapon, w running around with weapons that are now better than before or worse sometimes. Look at the range on that. It's so insane that this weapon does that now. 
No, 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 no. I was about to get my advanced. Uh, I'm, I got to call then. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't, they didn't see me. I don't, they probably weren't expecting someone to be laying down there. 76 kills. Some great, dude, give me like, I'm excited to see what this thing's all about on a different map. Give me something. Give me a different map. Ah. Oh. Maybe like dome hardpoint. Oh, if I can just manifest, if I can manifest some dome hardpoint, it's over. 77 kills, nice little nuke. Let me see how many deaths I got, because I don't remember getting a lot. 77 five, okay. Nothing too <laughs> insane. I take the nuke, buck valve 46, worth using top tier SMG without a doubt. Hey, what did I just say at the end of the last game? I, I did say I want, that was horrible. I don't even know why you even thought that was, would have been a good idea. I know I said hard point. I know I said hard point. Domination, next best option. I'll take it. I actually spoke into existence. I'd even look that hard either, by the way. I'd even look that hard. I wasn't even trying to find it that hard. I, I maybe mean, spent like a... I ain't gonna lie, actually. It took me like my third try to get some, some dome. So I'll take it. I will take it. I get to run and gun on this map. MP7, like this really is Modern Warfare 3. That's crazy, bro. If you told me in, during, like, when I was, wait, what? Where's the other? If you told me, man, when I was like 13 and in like seventh grade, that 10, I mean, yeah, is it, it's like, what? How did I die to that? I'm gonna call this VTOL. All right, let me get my, my streaks. If you told me 10 years ago, man, in 20, I think it was 2013 when MW3 came out that I'd be that I'd be sitting here right now 10 years later with 380,000 subscribers playing the one of the best maps using one of the best guns from Modern for 3 Dome and the MP7 recording a video for that many people to watch I would call you li literally I would not I would not believe you Oh, my. Yeah, you better come back, homie. You are done. These guys are done. They're so focused on my streaks, and now they're behind me. No way. Are they going to come in? They're actually just running out there. I thought maybe they'd stay inside. No, they're not. I don't like this triple cap going on right now. I'm not a fan of it. Are these guys still in here? Advances up. All right, my VTOL's gone. These guys were so motivated to take it out for whatever reason, but we're, we're vibing. We're looking good now. I'll take it. Should I let them have C? Yeah, I'm gonna let them have C. Thankfully, his awareness is really bad. <gasps> Here we go. I'll take it. W. But yeah, man, I gotta thank you guys for the, the support you guys have been showing. I really do. It's been great. I've been having a lot of fun playing. Oh my God. I've been having a lot of fun playing uh pubs recently i think it's, it's just because there's like a new map to learn and it, it, the map's actually new i think that's what uh infinity ward needs to like take into consideration it's like yeah these maps you bring back are cool but they get very repetitive like immediately the only map that doesn't for me first nah you're different for that nah you're different for hit wow you know, I gotta make sure this is a, a nuke, right? The only map that isn't like super repetitive that's been brought back numerous times is. Your mic is so bad. Is uh, Shipment, because it's so fast paced. I think that's a little different. For me personally, it is at least. Holy cow, I'm on one actually, right? This is great. Oh my. Do any of you guys plan on stopping the kid anytime soon? I would call him, dude. I mean, I'm just, these guys don't even stand a chance. Almost ran out of ammo. Yep, thankfully. I don't know how I'm not running over any scavenger packs while running around like a maniac. Four people? Oof, I hope this, this game stays fast paced. We gotta make sure it stays fast paced. Nice. This way, I don't even know why they would want to stay in the game. Turn around, I'm behind you, stupid. Add some. Okay, we got five people in here. We're looking good. 
But yeah, these original maps, man, like, there's just new things to learn about them. The spawns, the... The way it... The, the flow of it. Maybe, like, cool little jump spots, like... He has a shotgun. Like, everyone knows how Dome plays. Everyone knows how Shipman plays all that. Obviously, Shipman's different because it's so fast-paced. I feel like that's... I don't know. It's 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 weird how that map is a little different from the others when it comes to that. Okay, now we got a full group. Now we got a full party in this. This is what I like to see. But yeah, these original maps are... Little literal game changers. Oh, is he? Is he? All right, I want my. Oh, oh my god, it scared the hell out of me. Holy cow! Let's call that in at A. Cause I'm at C. We're triple capping. I wish this played a little quicker, but I, I'm not really gonna complain. They started leaving. They're still kind of leaving. I, I mean, the fees we are getting this game is, they're great. I'll take it. I'm running out of ammo still with scavenger on. Couldn't tell you how. There's one right there. How do I not have my nuke yet? There it is. I was gonna say, I'm so confident that I'm like right there to it. You know, I had to reload. Oh my god! I've, the base on this being 40 is so nice because I don't gotta waste an attachment on a on a magazine that I usually would would have to. Oh yeah, another quality of life update that I never mentioned that I I that those spawns are bad. Those spawns are horrible. Those spawns are terrible. They're spawning right behind me, literally. All I have to do is run around and I, like right around the corner, I'm there. What was that? Oh, they killed you. Got a huge update, so it's not just four. So now it it stacks and it looks beautiful. That makes for wanting to get like cool feeds even better. Am I at 100 kills yet? No, I'm not. Can I get four kills while this nuke goes off? Can I get four kills while this nuke goes off? I honestly would love to know. I need like a double nade kill over there. Nothing. Come on. I need four kills. Come on. I need one kill. You know how the VTOL gets you some kills? Maybe it'll do it for me? Do it, do it, do it. It didn't do it. 99 and four, one kill off of 100. Nonetheless, man, back-to-back -back phenomenal matches, crazy feeds. This is the perfect Vel 46 setup. Genuinely, anybody could use it. Let me give you guys the attachments and tuning for it. What'd I say? I told you those gameplays were not gonna disappoint. I hope you guys enjoyed those. Now, here are the attachments and tuning I had on my Vel 46. So starting off, I had the Schlager Soldier Grip. I get Sprint to Fire Speed, which allows my weapon to come up quicker after sprinting. And I get ADS speed, so I'm able to be a lot more quick and snappy. Next, I throw on the FTAC Castle Comp Muzzle. I get horizontal and vertical recoil control. It's just going to make my weapon so much more accurate, help me land a lot more shots, reduce the bounce on the weapon. For the barrel, I have on the Lockman Dart 165. You get recoil control and bullet velocity, which is going to make the weapon just a little bit more effective at longer range engagements. I know there's some other longer barrels like this one, but... It makes it a little bit too slow for me, and I, I honestly don't even think it's worth it. I'll just take the recoil control bullet velocity and be on my way. Next, I have on the VLK Laser 7MW. More ADS speed, more sprint to fire speed. It's just going to make the weapon a little bit more quicker. And I get aiming stability, which is going to further the accuracy of the Vel 46. And then my final attachment, it was kind of a toss-up between this stock and the Vel A 56A Collapsed. Uh, but the Collapse kind of re completely ruined my recoil control and aiming stability i changed to this one and i am so glad i did man the ads speed and sprint speed is more than enough i think this is a little too od and it, you're just gonna miss out on landing your shots it's, it's kind of rough so i get sprint speed i'm able to be a lot more quicker movement speeds increased point a point b a lot faster amazing so glad i had this on instead now for the tuning starting with the rear grip i did ads speed and sprint to fire speed so fully just dedicating the tunes to the pros that the attachment offered. The tuning on the muzzle, I did recoil stabilization and gun kick control, which is heavily favored uh, the recoil control. That's what made my weapon literally look like a laser beam. The tuning on the barrel, we did recoil steadiness and then ADS speed, surprisingly, because uh, 
I thought that this, it was just a little too slow, I think. I, I don't know what it was, but the damage range obviously was completely fine. You saw that in those gameplays. So it ended up working out. The laser tunings, we did sprint to fire speed and ADS speed. So once again, just for the speed. And then finally, for the tuning on the stock, we did ADS speed and aim walking speed. It's crazy how I only dedicated one attachment to recoil control, and it was that accurate. That's how good that FTAC Castle Comp is. Now, if you guys are a few numbers off of the tuning, do not worry. Just try to be within three. If you want to get these precise tunings that I have here, you have two options. You could plug in a mouse, which is what I do. You could plug in your systems, anything you plan, you could plug it in. Or you could just use your D-pad. It takes a little bit of time. If you kind of go back and forth, up and down a few times, you should get very, very close, if not the exact numbers I have here. Now, um, I know they buffed the 30 round magazine, but I mean, this ended up working out perfectly. I don't, I just feel like I didn't need it. Maybe I could use it in the future or something, but dude, I don't know. I, this just felt perfect. I think anyone could use this and do incredibly well with it. Genuinely had so much fun using the valve. And here's an overview of the rest of my class setup. Now go out, play two to three games with it. Come back to this video and let me know in the comments the best thing you're able to do. Were you able to get a crazy feed, get a kill streak you never got before, high kills, whatever it may be, let me know down below. I'll be reading your guys' comments, showing you guys some love, liking, heart, and responding back, all that type of good stuff. Make sure you guys are subscribed with all those notifications on so I can see you in the next upload. You guys all stay safe. Have a great day, and I'm out. Peace.